In the Bible, i.e. spelt A-I, was a Canaanite city, and the name literally translates as Pile of Ruins. In the book of Joshua, it tells how the Israelites tried to conquer the city. The first attempt failed. The Israelites had been instructed to destroy everything in the city of Jericho and take all the precious metals such as gold, silver, iron and bronze. The precious metals were to be given to the tabernacle, since they were sacred, and they were instructed not to take anything for themselves. However, Ashen, one of the Israelites, hides some of the precious metals in the hole inside his tent. He was given time to confess his sin and repent for his mistakes, but he tries to hide his crime from God and from Joshua, and he's stoned to death along with all his family and livestock, for not obeying the word of God. The pile of stones was left as a reminder of his crime. He sinned against God, and the penalty of sin is death. Hiding something from God is not possible, as he sees everything. The first attempt had failed because of Asham, and the Israelites had been punished because of his sin. However, in the second attempt, Joshua receives instructions to set an ambush. He does so, and the city of Ai is captured and destroyed. It was made into a pile of stones, or ruins, and God announced that the livestock could be taken. In this day and age, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. Perhaps in many areas, the Bible story holds significance. Perhaps AI in its present form today needs to be rebuilt, rather like the six million dollar man from the program of the 70s. We can rebuild it, we have the technology, as the program said. Now we know that AI can be a force for good, or a force for the opposite. It depends on whose hands it's in. It can be used as a weapon against humanity, but it can also, in moderation, do much good. Robots can and have been used for mundane tasks in building and on assembly lines, etc, etc, where humans find the work mundane. They can assist humans with crop picking, doing arduous work timelessly, and ensuring a harvest can be gathered with minimal food waste. Robotic arms and limbs can assist in surgery and help doctors since they're able to go where a surgeon's fingers can't. There's a multitude of good that can come from working with AI, but never to be allowed to be in control. AI will never be in control, that job's taken, and there will never be a vacancy. Humanity belongs to God, and God is in control. He sees everything.